everybody, Morgan with the Vineyard Sir here, and today I want to show you how to build a balloon topiary. This miniature sized version is great for tabletop displays, including centerpieces. So let me show you how to build the topiary, as well as a couple of different bases that you can use depending on your event theme. So let's get right into the project. I'm using 5 inch balloons for today's topiary, and 12 of those will be used for the top of the topiary, and 10 of those will be used for the base of the topiary if you decide to do the balloon base. So I'm going to just put two pumps of air into each of my balloons, and the size of the balloon doesn't particularly matter as long as they're all consistently the same size. So I'm going to go ahead and inflate all 12 balloons and then tie all of those into pairs. So I'm going to take my balloons and wrap the nozzle around once, wrap it around twice, and then tie it off. And I'll keep doing this until I have all 12 balloons put into six pairs. Once all the pairs are made, we'll be ready to start assembling the sphere of the topiary. To do that, I'm gonna take the first two pairs and nestle them together so that the nozzles all meet in the center, and then twist two of those balloons together, and that will lock them in place into a quad. And to this quad, I'm gonna add one more pair. So once again, bring those two balloons in so all the nozzles are touching, and then twist two balloons together. Together, that's gonna to make up one half of our sphere, and it should look something like a five-petaled flower. And I'm just gonna lay that flat on the table so that the flower is facing up, and then with the three remaining pairs, I'm gonna repeat the exact same steps, twisting them all together so that they also make a five-petaled flower. Once you've got the two flowers, I'm gonna put them back to back so all of the petals align with each other. So once I've got them touching each other, I'm gonna take one petal from one flower and one petal from the next flower and twist them together. And that's gonna secure these two back to back and we'll create our sphere. So I'm gonna rotate this and take the next two petals and twist them around in the exact same way and continue this until all of those have been joined together to make our sphere. To make a balloon base for this topiary, I'm gonna to take five of the five inch balloons and inflate them to two pumps, and then just tie all five of those together by first putting them into pairs, and then pairs with a plus one, and then twisting those together. And that will give me my first layer of my base. And then I'm gonna repeat this with the pink balloons and inflate those to slightly larger to give it a little bit of definition, and then also tie those five balloons together. Next, I'm gonna nestle my smaller balloons on top of the larger balloons and secure the two together using a 260 balloon, which is that really skinny balloon you see. I've just tied it to my pink layer, and then I'm gonna take that 260 and wind it between the upper layer and the lower layer, going in and out of each petal, and that's just gonna secure the two together so that they won't come apart. So once you get to the very end, I'm just gonna wrap it around a balloon a couple times, and that'll secure everything in place. The final piece to make is a base for the topiary to stand on. This is a four by four inch square of foam core. You could also use cardboard as well, but I'm gonna use that as the base for my balloon sticks. And this is what's gonna make up the stem of my topiary. So these balloon sticks come with this end that usually connects to the balloons, but instead I'm gonna hot glue this down to my foam core base. And this is gonna make sure that my stick stands nice and straight once I get it inside the balloons. So I've got my base here, and I'm gonna apply my balloon stick, which is about 20 inches tall, and then I'm gonna nestle my balloon base that I made right around that stick. Now, it may take a little bit of negotiating to keep that stick nice and straight and get all the balloons laying flat. Then we can stick the sphere right onto the top of that balloon stick until it touches the center nozzles, and this topiary is ready to go. There are a lot of ways you can change up the look of this topiary by changing the balloon size and color combination, but also by changing up the bases. So I've got some greenery here that I've put into an arrangement, and if you have some floral foam down in the bottom of your container, the balloon stick will go into that really easily and hold it nice and straight for you. If you don't like the greenery look, you can also try putting this into a gift bag or a gift box. So I just have a punch cup here full of sand, and I'm gonna put that at the very bottom of this bag and nestle the balloon stick right down into that sand. And then I'm just gonna hide the mechanics of this with a little bit of fluffed up tissue paper, and this centerpiece is ready to go as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Something as simple as some balloons on a stick can add so much charm and elegance to your next party or event. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you join my creative community. I make all kinds of event planning, party tips, as well as decorations, balloon tutorials, and so much more to help your party dreams come true. 
So until the next one, you can check out some videos over here. And always remember, stay creative. See ya!